Hey Savvy Investors, welcome to today's video where we are going to dive deep into a tax hack that will save you thousands of dollars in taxes and expand your investment portfolio. And that tax hack that I'm talking about is the 1031 exchange. And if you're tired of paying these hefty capital gains tax when you sell your investment properties, then continue watching this video because I am going to explain the ins and outs of a 1031 exchange. By the way, my name is Nikki Burns and I help six-figure multifamily buy and hold investors save $50,000 in taxes and maximize their cash flow using the wealth method. And before we get into the details of the 1031 exchange, click the like button and subscribe to my channel so we can help other investors find this video. Now let's get started. All right, let's begin by understanding what a 1031 exchange is. A 1031 exchange is a tax deferral strategy that allows you to exchange one property for a like-kind property without paying any capital gain tax on the proceeds from the gain of the sale. This means that you can take the profits from that sale and reinvest into another like-kind property, thereby allowing you to keep your money working for you. Now, before we dive deep into how to utilize this strategy, let's understand the advantages and disadvantages of a 1031 exchange. The first advantage of a 1031 exchange is tax deferral. You get to avoid paying capital gains tax on the sale from your investment property, allowing you to invest the proceeds in another property. The second benefit is portfolio diversification. Now this exchange allows you to invest in different types of investment properties. The third benefit is increased cash flow. Exchanging into a property with higher rental income potential can drastically increase your cash flow. And a great example of how you can increase your cash flow is investing in multifamily because you have multiple units within that property. The fourth benefit is the wealth accumulation. Reinvesting without paying any taxes means more funds at your disposal to invest in another property of higher value. The fifth benefit is the estate planning. You can pass on a property to your heirs with a stepped up basis, potentially reducing their tax burden in the future. And of course, no strategy is without drawbacks. So here are some things to consider if you're thinking about conducting a 1031 exchange. The first thing to consider is strict rules. The IRS has strict rules and timelines you must follow, including identifying a replacement property within 45 days of the sale of the original property, as well as when to close on the replacement property. The second drawback is the limited personal use. So the property must be held for business or investment purposes and not personal use. The third drawback is depreciation recapture. If you claim depreciation on the original property that was sold, you may have to pay depreciation recapture tax on the realized gain upon the sale. The fourth drawback is limited exit strategy. Once you enter into a 1031 exchange, reversing it can be complex and result in unexpected tax liabilities. So you wanna think about that before you enter into a 1031 exchange. Now that you know what a 1031 exchange is, as well as its pros and cons, let's go over the steps to execute a 1031 exchange. So step one is selling the original property. Step two is identifying a replacement property within 45 days of the sale of the original property. Step three is closing on the replacement property within 180 days. Step four is using a qualified intermediary to facilitate the 1031 exchange and hold the proceeds during the transition. And there you have it, a complete guide to the 1031 exchange to avoid paying capital gains tax on your investment property when you sell it. And if you found this video helpful and you're thinking about doing a 1031 exchange for your investments, then click the link below in this video to book a call with me and I will see you guys on the next video.